Hi, in this video we're going to simplify a few expressions using the distributive property. So we've got some expressions to simplify here. The first one is 3 times a plus 2. Now a lot of times people think of brackets as an indicator of what to do first and then they say well there's nothing I can do here with my a plus 2. Um, I'd like you to think of brackets as a grouping symbol generally. They make this whole a plus 2 thing, they sort of make it into one thing. They group it, the a and the plus 2 together. Um, which sometimes is an indicator if you're trying to simplify something. Um, maybe you just have a bunch of a long calculation with numbers. Sometimes it's an indicator that you should do something first, do the operation in the brackets. But other times it just indicates that this is sort of a unit, one group here. In this case here, it tells us that the 3, it's 3 times this whole thing, a plus 2. Um, so even though the 3 is next to the a, it's the whole a plus 2 that's being multiplied by 3. So to simplify this, to figure out what's going on here, we can get ourselves a little picture with some algebra tiles. Uh, with the tiles I'm using, my red is negative and the other colors are positive. So we've got an a, sorry, and two positives. So this is a plus 2. But we don't have one of those, we have three of those. So I'll put another one below, another a plus two. And that's two, so we need one more still. There's another a plus two. So this is a picture of three times a plus two. And, um, so when they ask us to simplify, they'd like us to write it a different way where we're not multiplying like a whole thing in brackets. This is called a binomial. We're not rep multiplying something big in brackets by 3. We just have a certain number of a's and then a certain constant. So what we can do is we can just look at this picture. We can say, well, I've got three a's. And that part might feel really obvious. But then what um, constant term do we have here? Well, we've got 6. So we've got 3a plus 6. I'd like to point out that if you can think about this here, we 3 times a is 3a, and 3 times 2 is 6. Um, and that's called the distributive property. When we talk about how to multiply 3 times a plus 2, we could think about 3 times a and 3 times 2 separately. All right, the next two examples have uh, subtraction in them. Clear these away. These again. Uh, I'd like to remind people that subtracting something is the same as adding its opposite. Um, I'm hoping that once you've got a certain amount of practice um, using the distributive property with a bunch of negative signs, you'll be really comfortable flipping between um, sub a subtraction and adding uh, the opposite. Um, but I'm going to do it really explicitly in these examples. Um, if you're really comfortable skipping a few steps, that's great. And if not, then we'll, um, we'll just go step by step. All right. So here we've got two groups, and each group has m subtract 4 in it. So the first time we're going to use this is we're going to think, how can we represent that with algebra tiles? This is the same as 2 times m plus negative 4. Okay, subtracting 4 is the same as adding negative 4. All right. So we're going to do a group of m plus negative 4. So now I need my negatives, so these are my reds. So there's one group of m subtract 4, which is the same as m plus negative 4. And I'd like two groups of them, so I'll just do another row. And of course it doesn't really matter whether you have these things in rows or not. I think it's kind of nice to keep them organized. There's our negative 4. Um, so what have we got all together? Well, we've got two m's, and we ha also have negative eight. Okay. 
Now, I think for the sort of simplest way of writing this, it, we should go back to writing it as a subtraction. We can remember that adding negative 8 is the same as subtracting positive 8. So 2m subtract 8. Now, if you would rather skip these two steps, that's totally fine. If you can go from here to here and you can represent that with algebra tiles, then that's great. Alright, we'll do one more. Now here, I have five groups, and in each group, I have one subtract C. Or, here again, I'm going to use this reminder. That's the same as five groups of one plus negative C. So, I've got one and negative C, flip that over and get a red variable. So 1 plus negative C, which is the same as 1 subtract C. Alright, now I need five groups of that. Two groups. Three groups. Oops. Three groups. Four groups. And one more. So all together, what we've got is we have five, and then we also have next to it negative five c's. And in the spirit of writing it as simply as possible, we'll just write that as five subtract five c. Again, I'd like you to look here at how this would look if you just considered the symbols for a minute. 5 times 1 is 5. And then 5 times negative c is negative 5c. Or if you think about subtracting 5 times c, you have 5c here. Right? If you're not comfortable going in one step, write these other steps. It doesn't take, uh, it doesn't take very long at all to write. All right, in the next video, I'll show you a few more examples with a bunch of negative signs, including some negative signs um, on the, the number that we're multiplying by up front. All right, thanks a lot.